hello beautiful people welcome back again to my channel it's your girl chini on today's episode i'm here with mr chimoya who is about to be a year old on the 24th of january 2022 <laughs> anyways um <clears throat> my people my friends I saw this post on social media and I decided to come and talk about it because I believe that a lot of people is on this um, table. A lot, a lot of people might have experienced this one way or the other, either by themselves or someone close to them. And I think it's high time we found a solution to this ordeal. Okay. This, um, this person came on social media and wrote an epistle and wrote something that his sister or rather he's related to someone that just got married no they've been they've been married for a while and they found out that this couple have been going through a lot of barrenness barrenness in um, everything up around them their finances and even the lady hasn't been able to conceive and even if she conceives she she has she gets to have a miscarriage and um, a lot of people are so biased when it comes to the things of the spiritual and a lot of people are so biased about when it comes to you have to pray yourself out you don't have to go to um, see a prophet to see vision for you let me know in the comment section if you are among those people or if you believe that you can pray yourself out especially um, most bible believing churches they believe that you have to read the word of god and you pray yourself out but I still think that there are a lot of things that happen in the spiritual that we do not know about. And sometimes it takes the grace of God for you for it to be exposed to you. And some people are some people have these gifts when you meet the right people. Some of these prophets have these gifts to see visions, to deliver people, to even speak words of for people's life and it manifests. Then when you come to okay, so back to the story before I digress. So the, the, the man in question said that his, um, his friend's wife, I, I can't, let me just put the story out this way. So this couple have been having this problem of barrenness and everything. The woman can't, con even if she conceives, she has a miscarriage. So somehow the lady's mother came um, to, the, to their house and she invited her daughter for a church program. They are, they are of the Anglican communion, Anglican faith. This is happening in Nigeria. So she invited her daughter for this program they have in their church. And she invited her husband and the husband said, no, she's not, that he's not going to go. Then she went by herself with her mom and they went to the fellowship or to the program. And she said, the writer said, while the program was going on, that one of the pastors called or the prophets called out the lady and told the lady that, um, that there's this that there's a wedding gift that was given to them and in that wedding gift was kind of um charmed so that wedding gift is what's keeping their marriage stagnant and causing barrenness in every area of their lives so she said she got home and spoke with her husband and the husband was like they shouldn't bring that kind of nonsense crap to him anymore and he doesn't believe in that kind of thing so um the lady went back again to a different some months later though, she went back for another fellowship or another program in a different place. And this time around, okay, no, when she told her husband the first time about this vision that was seen on her head from the pastors and the, from the priests in the Anglican communion, the husband said that if they were speaking the truth, they would have emphasized on what exactly the gift was because they received a lot of wedding gifts. So they swept that under the carpet and they went. she went again some months later to another um, communion, another program. And this time around, she said this another pastor, and differently from the person that they met the first time, called her, picked her up again and told her specifically that there is a clock that was given to them in that marriage. That the clock is hanging on their bedroom wall. So she said that uh, she got home and told her husband the exact same thing and the husband actually now believed and took out they took away the clock from their bedroom so fast forward to some time the husband's father hasn't been to their house since they got married 
So this was his first time of coming to visit, and the husband's father is a pastor and he has his own church. He's a pastor. So he came to the house and the wife's sister was also around. So they didn't have anywhere to keep the father-in-law, so they had to evacuate, they had to vacate their own matrimonial bedroom for the father-in-law to be able to stay. And, he, and her own sister was also in the uh, was also in the spare bedroom, so they had to move to the spare bedroom. And uh, she had to move to the spare bedroom, her sister and the um, husband slept in the sitting room. So they said, midnight, the father-in-law woke everybody up and was like that, there's something strange in this their bedroom, that something is not right. So they came and they started praying and the father-in-law was like, something, that there's a darkness in this room. And the man now started telling him what, uh, what transpired. But the father-in-law said yes, that he has been seeing his vision since he has been in this room, that there's a clock. That there was a clock, but he didn't say anything because when he came to the room, he didn't say anything. That they showed him a clock that whenever him and his wife are planning something, or she conceives, that that person monitoring through that clock, draws, takes them the clock, um, the hand of the clock backwards, and thereby they lose everything. And thereby, um, so the person that is monitoring them through this clock knows everything that is going on in their lives and takes the clock backwards. So they lose everything and she even gets to have a miscarriage. So the man started praying and everything. So actually the reason why this person did this charm or this voodoo on them was because of the fact that she was, he or she wasn't happy that this lady is now married. Because where the lady is coming from, nobody gets married even if you get married you're not fully married and you know in our nigerian culture they pay your dowry you do your traditional wedding you do your white wedding you do your court wedding there are stages of marriages so this particular person is so angry that in this family this lady actually got married the full way and she doesn't want it to be so now let's get into the nitty-gritty of it all Coming from Africa or wherever you are in the world, I'm sure there are a lot of people that have experienced this or maybe someone they know has experienced this. And what are your beliefs? What are your take on if this is really true or if this is a lie or if this is just a cook up or it's just a way of people just, you know, I don't really know. But I believe that there are people of this way. I believe that there are people that are so evil that they do not want even to see people of other, um, their own family members, not even family members, even friends making it in life. Do you believe in voodoo? Do you believe in charms? Do you believe in um, spiritual controlling the physical? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. But in all this, I still think that we all have to be careful in our dealings and the way we interact with people and all these stuff. Let's all be careful and get to know ourselves. So, I'm going to end this video here, but I do not want to make it a long one. But I'm sure that a lot of people have experienced this, or you know someone that has experienced or is still experiencing it. Voodoo is real. Or do you think it's not? Let me know. Anyways, do like, share, and subscribe, and watch my other videos too. And thank you also for always subscribing and for always coming back to watch my videos. I'm so happy and I'm so thankful to you, my wonderful subscribers. Till my next video, remain blessed and I'll see you again. Bye.